All right, y'all, so on this one, uh, looking over the uh, speed density temperature weighting tab, um, this one I had to turn to Kevin Jewer to get an uh, answer on this one because uh, never really knew how to use it. Um, at the bottom, it talks about weight being given to either intake temperature or coolant temperature. Um, I don't know what they're really referring to as weight. Or I would assume probably more importance, you know, given to uh, intake temps or coolant temps. But, you know, when would you do it? Um, you know, how much would you give? Things of that nature. So I uh, wasn't real sure on this one. And uh, I turned to Kevin Jure. He, he knows more uh, about this stuff than me. He's got the fastest um ECM link powered DSM out there. In case you don't know him, this is uh, this is the gentleman who I'm referring to uh, in that regard. Uh, great guy. So uh, turn to him when I need any uh, questions answered that I just don't know. So, uh, but anyway, th this one's kind of a short video, not a whole lot of information that I can give on this one. This was his response, uh, basically saying determining the proper shape for that curve is not easy. Something that would best be done on a lab environment on the dyno. So. Um, so basically what I do, I basically just leave it alone. Uh, so long as I have a intake air temperature, uh, sensor on the car, if I don't, then basically all I'm doing, I'm taking all these, all these right here. Uh, try that again. And I just set them to zero. Um, I set it to zero if I don't have a, um, IAT sensor, um, I said that I'll ignore calculating that parameter with the uh, speed density. Otherwise, um, if I've got one, I just leave it at stock values, and that's what I do. So, not a whole lot to give on this one. Um, you know, if, if he's saying to you know use that in a lab environment to try and come up with those numbers, then I'm certainly not going to screw around with it. So I'll just leave that one as is, stock values or as zero, one or the other. So. Um, I see some people making adjustments, how they come up to the conclusion of what adjustments they should have. I have no idea. And if Kevin Jord, you know, has got the fastest ECM link powered uh, car using this program and he doesn't know how they come up with it, I'm certainly not screwing around with it. So I'll let other people mess with it. But anyway, um, just trying to cover each tab here. Just want to give some information on this one because this is one I had to reach out to Kevin Jure. Uh, uh, on that note, he's also... Uh, he also does some remote tuning. I've kind of gotten out of that. So if you have any questions uh, or need some tuning, I guess hit him up, uh, whatever I can do to give credit uh, where it's due. So a uh, great guy to communicate with, uh, you know, if, if need be. Uh, but anyway, that's all for this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Y'all have a good one.